Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Learn HTML and CSS on Codecademy Part 4. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we'll go back into here. And so now we're going to go on to ba basic CSS structure and syntax and learn, learn all about CSS. So pretty cool. And this has nine sections. Cool. So, so let's take a look at the code and the style of CSS. You may not understand it right now, but after this lesson, you'll know how CSS syntax works. Later, uh, you'll learn even more about the details of CSS. So uh, we can sort of look at this, and like I've explained before, you know, you have your selectors, and then you have your braces as if it's a function. You have your key value pairs, where the key is the property, and the value is what you're assigning to that property. So in the case of width, you're assigning it a pixel width. In the case of text line, you can assign it a sensor property. In the case of background size, assign it cover color this color cool let's move on so this is just uh, explaining what I said you have your selector and then you have your opening braces and then you have your key value pairs so we want to add a selector for an h1 element okay h1 and then remember our open braces and then everything inside this are our details or our description what we're going to say about this h1 how we're going to define it it's called a rule awesome let's go ahead and run this not going to style it yet um, so this is a pretty good explanation like, like what I was saying. Here's your selector, here's your opening curly brace, here's your property, and here's your value. You end it with a semicolon. And like any object, you have your key value pair where your key is just the literal, and you have your colon, and then you have your value, and then you have your closing brace. Cool. Uh, next up, we want to change the color of the heading to fire brick. So we'll say color, that's our property, and our value is fire brick. Awesome. Let's go ahead and run that. And now we can see it changed. We now want to add another selector that changes font size of the paragraph to 18 pixels. So we'll select paragraph and we'll say font size selector 18 pixels. Awesome. Let's run that. Cool. Pretty simple. Uh, but you can also do multiple by doing commas and, you know, sort of selecting as many as you want and then changing the styles. So it says, use one selector to change the color of the heading and paragraphs to dark slight gray. So because they share a commonality, we can say H1 and paragraph. And then what rule do we want to give that? We want to change the color to dark, dark slate gray. All right, cool. And let's try that out. So now, paragraph and the heading has changed. Cool. Uh, next up, use the universal selector, the wild card. And we want to set the font family to Georgia. So universal selector. We'll say font family. We'll set it to Georgia. Cool. So let's go ahead and run that. So now everything has been changed to Georgia. Um, cool. So also indentation, you know, you always want to keep everything nice and tidy. Um, this is more involved when you're using something like SAS, which lets you nest, but Still, you want to make sure your CSS is is looking good. Do you notice any code that is pr improperly indented? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think what I have is good. But um, it could be, you know, say if you had it like this, right? That's wrong. You want to indent everything. Awesome. So finally, we want to add a comment. So we'll add a comment by doing... Uh, like this, we'll do a multi line comment. We'll just say looking good CSS, and then we'll terminate our comment like that. And then everything else under it is no longer a comment. And I did add a comment, I don't know where it went. Let me just try and put this back in here. Let's run this one more time. Um, reset this, I'm not sure why that's cramping up on me. Let me try it at the top. Let me, let me go ahead and reset this page. Do it one more time. Let's try and add this. Or oh, did it already give it to me? Let me see. Let me add it up at the top here. Paragraphs down. Huh. Okay. Well, that's how you do it. <laughs> I can assure you. Uh, so great work. You've learned the basics of CSS structure and syntax. 
Uh, let's review what we've learned. A CSS selector targets an element. Declarations, the semicolon. A rule must consist of a selector and the declarations. Um, so you can experiment in here, but basically all we do, you know, we have our selector, H1. Let's say we also want a paragraph, so we can say H1 paragraph, and we can say color red. And that's our rule. We can also have a comment. Um, you know, you can have your comments and uh, so pretty cool um, but uh, yeah guys uh, pretty awesome and that's, that's how you write your comment go ahead and run this everything's changed to red now that we selected uh, so up next guys we'll be on colors learn how to utilize the expansive support the CSS offers for colors so that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. So thanks for watching and have a great day. See you in the next video. Take care.